it's Melissa and like I said before I love baking but also like I said before I am a busy mom so I've learned a few tricks along the way so I'm going to share some of those with you now first when it comes to baking cookies so that's what we're going to do today I my mom and I went through many 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 failed attempts at baking cookies because we couldn't get the cookies off of our pan now the biggest thing that you need when baking cookies is parchment paper it really doesn't matter what kind of pan you bake them in you just got to have some parchment paper so you can get them off because a cookie that's all crumbly I mean it just it, it was not good you can't get it off now another neat thing that I've learned and you can find recipes like this all over the place is using a cake mix okay so that means you don't have to do sifting you don't have to measure all those ingredients and all that it's just pre-made ingredients so let's go over what I'm I'm gonna make chocolate chocolate chip cookies today and so let's go over what we need one I've got a chocolate fudge cake mix pretty much melted one stick of butter about a tablespoon of milk one egg a splash of vanilla some chocolate chip cookies or not cho or some chocolate chips and another wonderful thing my little scooper okay a big enough bowl a little whisk and a spoon we're going to start off with the whisk and then go from there all right so i had to go get my scissors <laughs> anyway so dump your cake mix in there very easy okay dump your stick of butter yum 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 everything's better with butter and a very small splash of vanilla now if you are doing this with a strawberry cake mix which I highly recommend to um, omit the vanilla anyway I'm gonna start off with just whisking this together now you will think that it's not gonna come together but it really will so I actually first discovered these cake cookie recipes at a um, party that I went to at for when I, uh, uh, teacher friends. We used to have what well, school I used to work at. We used to have end of the year teacher like our get together parties where all the math department would get together. And anyway, this um, lady brought some strawberry cookies. And I was like, oh my gosh, strawberry cookies. I've never seen that. And she said she made a cake mix using, you. she made them using a cake mix. Anyway, so this is kind of her recipe and I've kind of modified it since then. Anyway, you can use any cake mix. All right, I'm then going to take some chocolate chips. Dump them in there. And hey, you know what? You know what chocolate chips are good for? Mm, eating too. <laughs> All right, mix those together good. Oh, i got to wash my hand a little bit. mix those together and that's pretty much it I mean how easy was that now another trick I have found is um, your dough needs to kind of rest a little bit so we're gonna stick this in the fridge for about 20 minutes and then we'll come back magically it's been 20 minutes or around about you know so in those 20 minutes I don't know what you did but I made my kids some peanut butter and honey sandwiches so they would stop screaming and now they're watching TV so <laughs> all right so I'm just gonna give this a, um, a little stir and make sure all of our yummy 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 chocolate chips are in there good okay so and again you can put anything you want I mean white chocolate chips any other kind of chocolate chips if you want to put um fruit strawberries or something anything anything to work all right now this scoop is amazing too because look it makes cute little cookies and so i'm gonna scoop keep scooping out here okay now so i'm gonna scoop probably about eight cookies per plate uh oh <laughs> a runaway chocolate chip i'll get it later and then put it in the oven at 375 for like nine to ten minutes so got them all nice scoop there's and i love that little scoop because it makes them all come out about the same so 
I'm going to pop them in the oven for 9 to 10 minutes. Now, another big tip, take them out before you actually think they're ready to be taken out. So, anyway, I'm going to go, I'm going to put them for 9 and check on them, and we'll have yummy, yummy cookies. Yay, they're done. Oh, so pretty. All right, so like I said, you kind of take them out. Ugh even before you think they're done. So these, because they're gonna set up just a little bit when you're waiting, when they cool. So I'm gonna leave those for a second to cool and just a minute, we'll test them. All right, so they cooled. So I'm gonna put them in here. Sometimes you don't even need a spatula, but you put them over here on the drying rack. But you know what, I'm gonna try one. Okay, now the good thing about being the chef or the baker, Ooh, look at all that chocolate. You get to eat it. Mmm. It's good. Oh my gosh. It's nothing like a warm chocolate chip cookie. Mm. Subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to our channel.